Shall I do the first reading also? My friends, I welcome you here to St. George Church for Mass this morning on the Feast of St. Scholastica. And so we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It's a blessing to be here with you and to be able to share uh, this liturgy today. I'm glad that Deacon Joe Truesdale is with me. We ask that God will bless us and help us to recognize the power of his love and the answer to our prayers. You came to call the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father, or you intercede on our behalf. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O Lord, as we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and while as yet there was no field shrub on earth and no grass of the field had sprouted, for the Lord had sent no rain upon the earth. And there was no man to till, till the soil, but a stream was welling up out of the earth. And what was watering all the surface of the ground, the Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the preacher the breath of life, and so man became a living thing. Then the, Lord granted, then the Lord planted a garden in Eden in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food. With the tree of, the, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord gave him this order, you are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, bless, bless the Lord, Lord, my God. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O oh Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Then I went to file. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, are, you, are, you, are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile? since it enters, it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine. There, thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, 
unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Often Jesus had to explain a parable to his disciples, and this is one of those. At that time, according to the Jewish law, Jews were expected to live by the dietary laws that would not allow them to eat certain foods as they would make them unclean. So the parable most likely confused the apostles, since as Jews, they followed Jesus. They might have thought that he was dismissing those laws. The key to what Jesus was pointing out is a spiritual or perhaps a moral understanding. The food itself, kosher or not, was not the question of a defilement of the heart and how to live out the gospel Jesus taught. It is what is in our hearts, at the center of who we are, as followers of Jesus, that is the heart of the gospel. I believe that all the words of the were even justified as necessary to solve differences. When hatred and division is encouraged by those that should unite and accept it as a means to an end. Jesus ends the telling of the parables on extensive lists that follows from the heart that is defiled. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envoy, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, and folly. God created us out of his love for us, and the response that we should have for him is love for him and our neighbor. What reflects our, our hearts now is how we commit to the covenant that Jesus made with us on the night that he died, a night that he, before he died, the day he died, and the day he rose from the dead. We ask that the Lord will bless us as we offer our prayers. That God will help us to recognize the power that we have, the power that we have for bringing good into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us in our faith, that we may be strengthened by God's grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help our parish, that we may grow in the strength of the unity that we have and the dedication we have to him and to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those uh, who serve in the Benedictine order, founded by St. Benedict and his sister, St. Scholastica, whose feast we celebrate, that they may be blessed in their ministries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in need of God's healing and for those who have died, that they may rejoice in God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention today, Joanna Skonicki, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all goodness and grace, hear the prayers that we bring before you today. Bless us so that our hearts may be open, that we may receive from you all the good gifts you have for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food and drink, and blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands 
for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Amen. O Lord, as we proclaim your wonders in the Virgin, Saint Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, St. George, St. Scholastica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May God's peace be in your hearts always this day. Let us share a sign of peace, spiritually or physically, with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And for you at home, I invite you now to take a moment and act, make an act of spiritual communion, asking that God's true presence will come now in your heart. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray that by the example of Saint Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May God truly bless your day. May he keep you in his tender care and stay warm. <laughs>